let's talk about how to record and categorize your expenses as an Etsy seller. Now, most of your expenses will probably be coming out of either your checking if you use a debit card or your credit card if that's what you use. And we could get to our accounts for categorizing from the banking tab over here. But this time I'm going to get there simply by clicking on the bank account I want to work on. So we've got lots of expenses that need to be categorized. They all come in through the bank feed and end up on this for review tab. And once we categorize and add them, they'll end up in the in QuickBooks tab. And we need to categorize our transactions because that is what then makes the reports for us. So I'm gonna scroll down here to find some uh, good transactions to show you. Okay, here we are. Uh, let's start with this one, Nashville Wraps. QuickBooks has recognized the vendor, but they don't know where to put this. In our scenario, this expense is actually part, it's a raw material part of the product that is being sold. So it will go to cost of goods sold. Etsy Supplies and Materials, cost of goods sold. There's another video that covers cost of goods sold in a little bit more depth, but basically any component of the product you actually sell is cost of goods sold. So we're gonna go ahead and add that then. And you'll see it disappears from our screen. Uh, let's take another one, online labels. These are labels that are used on the shipping box. So it's a, a supply but not a cost of goods sold cost of goods sold supply. It's just a shipping supply. So we're going to scroll up here to our expenses. Going to have to pass up some other categories on our way. We're going to go to our Etsy accounts that we've created because this was for shipping products from an Etsy shop. And we're going to go ahead and select Etsy shipping supplies as our account. We're going to go ahead and add that. Um, if you need to add a vendor, um, for instance, this is for Google Apps. Oh, and we do already have that in there. If we didn't, let's say we wanted to add Goo, or uh, it was Goo before. Let's say we wanted to add Goo as a vendor. We would go ahead and do that here and save. We could add that right here on the fly. I actually do want it to be Google Apps, so I'm going to switch that. So in this case, um, let's find an appropriate expense account for Google Apps. And an account that I use um, quite a lot, let me see if I can find it. I've got lots of accounts here. Um, as you can see, I think this time we're going to be up here with blog. Yeah, blog tools and services. Or I think in the chart of accounts cheat sheet that I gave you, I called it online uh, tools and services. So something like that would go in an account like this. There's one other thing with expenses I want to show you. Let me find it here. Okay, sometimes you have an expense that is actually, it should be part of multiple categories. So in this, so in that case, we're going to go ahead and split it. So in our case, we want partly for this expense to be a, oh, I know what I wanted it to be, and it's down here. Just a regular old supply and material to the tune of 2510. And the other portion, I want it to be cost of goods sold. And you'll notice over here, QuickBooks is helping us out. They're calculating our difference because the total of the split needs to equal what was actually deducted from our credit card or 
the total amount of the expense. So this is a little handy feature. They're not going to let you save this until your split equals the amount of the transaction. So we'll go ahead and add that. Save and add. And that's really all there is to it with your expenses. Just go down the line. If QuickBooks has it right, um, if they have remembered the correct expense account, you can simply click add from over here. If there are several they have gotten right, you can select several and use the batch actions feature to accept them. Or you could modify all of them. You could change them all to the same payee or all to the same category. And then once you have modified all of them, then you can add all of them. So it's basically a matter of just going down your list of transactions that have been brought in. And in our example here, somebody has been very naughty and has not kept up with their bookkeeping all year. So there's lots to add, but it'll go very quickly. So many things are already memorized. So many things could be added in a batch together. But basically, just go down the list of expenses. So that's in the spent category. And record all your transactions and do the same for all of your accounts as well. And that's all there is to it.